This is CEN News. I'm Kitty Willow. In tonight's top story, belayer to the stars Andy Arts has announced three top contenders who are poised to take the belay device from him in an unmatched competition of strength and sex appeal. Join us next week to see which of these competitors will win the coveted title of belayer to the stars for 2019, thus leaving Andy Arts free to pursue his film career. And in other news, CEN takes to the crag to investigate a disturbing phenomenon that has climbers left hanging, or not, as the case may be. Investigative reporter John Bouchard follows a trail of missing hangers and wild speculation in the Bow Valley to identify and interview the person responsible for rendering many climbing routes in the front ranges of the Canadian Rockies unsendable. John? Are you there, John? Yes, hello, Kitty. John, I see you're at the climbing area. Could you please explain to our viewers the significance of the hangers and what would be the impact of their removal? Yes, Kitty, thank you. I'm out here at the Gong Show Crag investigating the mysterious removal of the hangers from mysterious crags around the Bow Valley. Sport climbing is a type of climbing where form, strength, and technical ability are emphasized over self-reliance, exploration, and inherent risks. A sport climber is tied into a rope, which is threaded through a quick draw, clipped into a hanger, a small piece of metal worth about $3. These are some pretty serious implications, John. I can see why this is such an important story. What else can you tell our viewers? Kitty, I'm gonna go interview some climbers and see how they feel about the situation. <clears throat> like Excuse me. Fifth, it seems like they skipped them off. Oh my god. In light of recent events involving hangar theft, I'd like to know what your opinion is. I think it's great. Whoever's doing this is doing us all a favor, getting rid of the crowds and it's going to be a lot better and quieter here like today. And what about yourself? I have to agree with them. I think it's great. There's nobody here. Like the hangers are missing on all the climbs. I mean, there's like a couple there, but we bring our trad gear and we're able to make it up the climb. So it's actually pretty sweet. We haven't seen a soul today. Yeah. And it's, you know what? Less litter around, less humans, better for the environment. Get rid of the hangers and the bolts out of here. You're wrecking the rock anyways. Let's go back yeah. to traditional climbing. It's Caveman awesome. Style. Yeah. Caveman style, man. I guess you could say it's making lemonade from lemons. You know, all I want to say about this issue and want to talk to the guy who, or a girl who did this, you know, just go and put it back. Well, you know what? I think it's great. Learn how to do trad, people. Learn how to do trad! I'm missing hangers off of uh, my local crag. Does anybody have any hangers? Do you need hangers? I've got hangers. I've got lots of hangers. They're only three bucks. So give me a call. Lots of hangers for you. Stop fucking taking hangers, man. Like, that's like rule number one or rule number two of, of sport climbing. Like, no shitting all over the crag and don't take hangers. Like, poor form. Poor form. I basically think it's reckless endangerment, and I think the local climbing community needs to sit down and we need to have a conversation about this. Are you fucking kidding me? Leave the fucking hangers alone. What kind of asshole doesn't want hangers? Fuck six. Seriously, just stop being a dick. Hangers? We don't need no stinking hangers. Hangers? Did you sign them? Our reporter John is with Kyle Britton of the Weather Network. Please stand by. We have Kyle Britton here from the Weather Network. We have a question for him. Kyle? Can climate change be responsible for the missing hangers? Yeah, no. Okay, fine. But what about any other phenomena? Is there anything else out there? Well, according to the QG Omega equation, there's actually two components. One is positive vorticity advection, the other is thermal advection. When the two are superimposed, rising air can occur and a pressure gradient can form at the surface that can cause bolts to pop off the wall. Good afternoon, Peter Parks. This is Kitty Willow with CEN News. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to answer our questions today. No problem. What are they? We are following up on a story about missing hangers in the Bow Valley. That is, 
Vandalism on sport climbing routes. Are you aware of this situation? Of course we're aware of the situation. We're on top of it. We check Facebook all day. It's part of my performance. I'm glad to know you are not just fucking the dog, Peter. So could you please elaborate on the Park Service position on this shocking situation? <sighs> not sure we really have a position. Well, that's the inside voice. Our position is clear. And let me be clear about it. Our position is, what our position is, that, um, one moment, please. Got another one. Yes, hello, Peter Parks of the Park Service. How can I rescue you today? Yes, in, where is this? Point Campground. Right. German woman, lasso, and a grizzly. All right, just calm down. Put 20 bucks on the grizzly and try and find out what she's going to do if she does lasso the grizzly. I, I know the grizzly is going to play German tetherball. Just, okay, I'll put you through the Cananaskis Rescue. Bye, Cananaskis Rescue, Peter Parks of the Park Service. Point Campground. Yes, the grizzly again. Thank you. I'm sorry, pussy kitty willow. But we've got more important things to take care of than these social hangers on. We are now going live to Dr. Gad, a psychologist specializing in stupid behaviors. The person who would do this has some interesting psychological issues. They're probably dealing with a form of evolutionary latency where they haven't really escaped the hunter-gatherer stage of life and yet at the same time they're not willing to work to move forward. It's a form of radical personal irresponsibility and it's terrible. Now, the person could do this and maybe be thinking they're doing a service in terms of cleaning up an area, but really what they're doing is getting in touch with their own inner Neanderthal and ceasing to move forward on the evolutionary ladder. And it's a tragedy, really. And it's widespread, and it's due to kids playing with tablets and screens. And we're gonna see a lot more of this. John has just sent in a message saying he has an informant who is willing to identify the culprit, and we are not going to believe who it is. Hi, Kitty. I'm meeting here with Max, our informant. Max, nice John Bouchard. Nice to meet you. I'm here with our informant, Max. I mean, I've seen the footage with my own eyes. Our viewers are going to shit themselves when they see this. Let's hear it from his own words. Um, yeah, so uh, I went out uh, for a dog walk. You know, it's, this is a great place. We are not top of the food chain, so you can kind of walk wherever, however. Um, we went out into the forest. There was like this cool uh, place with uh, cliffs, you know, like, yeah, there may be climbing there, but I mean, I'm not much of a climber. Uh, so we just sat down and uh, just chilling. And all of a sudden I can smell something behind me and sounds coming from behind me. At first I thought maybe my dog dug up some shit, you know, but then the smell was more like uh, what you smell when you go behind the safe way, you know, like the homeless, oh yeah, oh. the gross stuff. Oh. But then I look over and this thing is, this guy or something is ripping the bolts. I didn't even realize the bolts were there, but he's he's not unscrewing them. He's just ripping them out of the wall. Like here, here, I, like, I mean, I, thank goodness I had the phone with me. So here's the footage here, let me play it. Shut up and sit down. 